Hey, I'm Richard McCoy, the conservator of objects and variable art here at the Indianapolis Museum of Art. I'm going to give you a tour of the objects and variable art laboratory. This is a space we moved into in 2005 after being in a smaller space. Uh, we actually specifically designed some key features to this lab uh, for objects, including in the ceiling here we have a three-ton hoist or lift uh, I-beam that will allow us to lift uh, heavy artworks. And then we also have a concrete floor with a drain in the center of it, which allows us to then wash things that we've lifted or otherwise uh, work with water in a, in a pretty substantial way. The drain is actually hidden underneath that table. Over here we have, uh, and throughout the lab, we have a variety of materials and there's various equipment and uh, tools in the lab. Um, most, you know, there's obviously we have a cabinet here devoted to acid, and then there is a, a fume hood there where we uh, work with noxious chemicals and solvents in a very controlled environment. You'll notice also throughout the lab there are these blue uh, 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 tubes that are Niederman evacuation tubes, and these allow us to work with solvents in a controlled way. So then in this lab, we have uh, three conservators. Myself, that's my desk there. And then down here at this empty desk is Laura Kubik, who is currently in Charlotte, North Carolina, deinstalling the Thornton Dial exhibition. She'll be there for about a week. And then uh, we're also joined this year by Kristen Adsit, who is over there working on a frame by Alexander Girard, and her desk is there to the left. She is a conservation fellow in design arts. So in addition, so there's three of us currently in this space, and we generally work in these two tables in the middle of the lab. In this table here, you'll see a variety of chairs, a lamp, uh, and a lamp that will be on view in the soon-to-be-open design arts galleries in 2013. And then, as I mentioned, Kristen is down here working on uh, a des uh, an item. This is a silver frame that was designed by Alexander Girard. It was designed to hold the original deed for the Miller House and Garden, and so it, it has on it the names of the entire Miller family. Uh, Kristen, will you tell us what you're doing with this frame? I'm using a microscope to look closely at the surface of the frame in order to um, observe some of the phenomenon in greater detail. Um, the frame appears to be plated with silver, and the plating is bubbling in some areas, and it seems to be pretty fragile, so I want to make sure I have a good idea of what's going on before I actually start to touch it. And then you'll uh, clean it and then coat it with a protective coating so it can go on view in the Miller House? Exactly. Great. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Well, so that's a quick tour of the Objects and Variable Art Lab uh, here at the IMA.